Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we have a new model for depth estimation. So if you pass an image to this model, it's going to give you the depth of the image without using any 3D information. So a 2D image goes inside and it's going to give you the depth of the image. And that is quite important in a lot of different business cases. And today we are going to look at about this model and then we're going to understand what is this model. And we are also going to see a very quick Gradio demo on about how it works. First of all, this model is called Zoe depth. Nice name, a zero shot transfer by combining relative and metric depth. So now what is relative depth and what is metric depth? So relative depth and metric depth are two concepts related to depth estimation. So whenever you want to do depth estimation, especially from a camera or sensor, just by inferring the distance, like to understand the distance, you can use depth estimation or a relative depth and metric depth. Now, what is relative depth? Relative depth refers to ordering of objects in a scene based on a distance from the camera without specifying the actual depth metric in unit. So you don't, you don't mention it like it is 10 meters or 20 meters, rather you use the relative depth from the camera object. So this is relative depth. So the other one is metric depth. What is now metric depth? Metric depth is where you represent the actual distance in the metric unit. So you are going to say from camera, it's 20 meters from camera, it's 10 meters, unlike the relative depth where you used the relative uh, metric. So overall, both relative depth and metric depth are used for depth estimation. So now what this paper claims is this paper says the existing methods usually use either relative depth or metric depth and that's what they're saying that they don't see a lot of models um, combining these two so this work is going to combine these two it's going to combine relative depth and metric depth it's going to take into account both these values or depth metrics or depth methods and it is going to do the depth calculation and they've got some numbers and they're very kind enough to put their pre-trained models and the weights inside the GitHub repository. So you can literally go to the GitHub repository and then see how to use the model using either Torch Hub or using locally. Like you can download this locally and use it. So now just go here, start the repository. This would mean a lot to the developers. Now what a person called Ramnath, Ramnath has done is Ramnath has built a Gradio demo that is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces on top of this model. The code is quite simple. You can run this on Google Collab as well if you want. So the way the code works is uh, it actually uses Torch Hub to load the model and then it loads the model and does the rest of the thing. So I'll link this Hugging Face Space in the YouTube description for you to check it out. But we are going to see how it actually works. All you have to do is you have to drop an image, like upload an image. And as you can see, it has used the Zoe depth model and then it has calculated the depth. You can see the depth, how uh, the depth is. If you imagine this is like the heat map, this is the closest one to the camera or sensor. And this is the farthest one from the camera or sensor. And let's upload another one here that is given in the example. Now you can again see that this is a picture and you can see how um, it goes away and it stays closer to the camera sensor like the ear is so close and things that are going far it goes far. So you can upload any image that you want and then use it. Now if you're wondering where are you going to use depth estimation I think we don't need any more example than stable diffusion. Stable diffusion has got its own depth model and that depth model has been rocking everybody where instead of using an image to image, you can actually calculate the depth of the image and based on that, you can add another image to that. And this is quite interesting, useful in a lot of business context. And that is something that we have seen with stable diffusion. So if stable diffusion has to do depth modeling, first it has to identify the depth of the image so they can use models like Zoe depth to do the depth estimation. It is also used in places like self-driving car, you know, um, where sometimes uh, people try to recreate the museum using LiDAR. So there are certain places where even if you do not have a very high tech equipment like LiDAR, you can use this method to cre recreate some of the objects. And uh, I think Zoe depth looks quite interesting and that's why I wanted to make a very quick video on it. All the required links will be in the YouTube description. Please check it out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Peace.